Hi there, it's Lee here for I'm on Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the updated Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner uh, to mine library. So the machine that I have in front of me is a Windows uh, 10 machine. Uh, the graphics card is a MSI GTX 970 and the drivers that I'm using are the 34788 drivers. Uh, you can also use this uh, Claymore's Dual Miner to mine with AMD cards. It basically uh, supports everything, so it's a really good uh, kind of universal miner. So this is the actual Bitcoin Talk uh, forum thread, uh, specifically designed for this miner. So you just want to start off and either use the Google or the Mega download link and download it to your downloads folder. Um, I've already done that already, so I'm not going to go through that process, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, once you actually download the actual miner itself, uh, there's a few things that you need to do to get started with it. So I'm using uh, the older generation of the NVIDIA graphics cards. So like I say, it's a GTX 970. And if you're using the sort of the 900 series or anything older, you need to use the CUDA file, so the CUDA 6.5 files. So you just go into that folder, uh, you select these files, you copy them, and then you just paste them into the main folder. Uh, just replace the files. If you have a GTX 1060, 1070 or 1080 you want to use the CUDA 7.5 files and as before just copy those and paste them into the main folder. Uh, but like I say I've got these slightly older cards so I need to use the CUDA 6.5. Um, if you've got a AMD graphics cards you don't need to go through this process you can just um, skip that uh, step. So inside the actual main uh, folder, you'll have a couple of sort of uh, start batch files. Uh, these are the ones that I've sort of created for my personal uh, use, and I've got a couple in there. So this actual miner supports the mining of uh, multiple crypto coins. So you can use it to mine Ethereum and Decreed, Ethereum and Sirecoin, uh, Ethereum and Library is the newest um, update. So let's just open this a batch file. I'm going to let that run just in the background and I'll come back to it in a second. I'll just explain what's actually inside the batch file itself. If we go to edit. So this first part up to this um, X here, this is all for Ethereum. So you've got the, the actual mining program. Then you've got the pool. Uh, the pool that I'm using is ethermine.org. Um, really good pool. I've used them for about three or four months now. I'm uh, getting really good results with those. Uh, the second part is kind of your worker name and nickname and then you've got this part which is just to set the password In, for most pools it's just x the second part is where we set the actual secondary pool so in this case it's for library so we've got d pool and then i'm using supernova so we've got stratum and then we've got our supernova pool address there and then the d while part is our worker name and nickname and then we've got our worker password and then the last bit is just to specify that the actual secondary coin is actually going to be library so you can also set that to uh, decreed or sidecoin as well i'll come to those other ones in just a moment so i'm just going to close that so that's the basic batch file um, i'll leave those in in the actual download area um, so let's go back to the actual miner itself so Recently, um, just to sort of uh, clarify, I'm using a GTX 970 and normally that gets um, 18 mega hashes with Ethereum. Um, but yesterday, something changed. I think something changed on the port. I don't actually know what. Um, but now the actual hash rate was between sort of 26 to 30 mega hashes. So um, you're not going to get that with your own GTX 970. You're going to get like 18 to 20. So just to make you aware of. So that's just like a pool uh, reporting error. Um, but you can see the secondary coin that we're actually mining, we're getting 25 mega hashes. So that's just using the default uh, intensity. With the actual miner running, if you use the plus keys or the minus keys, you can sort of increase or decrease the intensity. So if I go down and if we decrease the intensity to 30, uh, sorry, 20 from 30, uh, what you should notice there is that the Ethereum mining speed basically goes up and the library mining speed goes down. Or you can do it sort of uh, the inverse of that, or the reverse, is if we sort of increase the intensity to 40, our Ethereum speed will go down, but our library mining speed will go up. So let's just set that back to 30 there. So that is basically, that is using Claymore's dual miner to mine Ethereum and 
library coin uh, at exactly the same time. So I'll just close that down now. I'll just quickly show you some of the other uh, things that you can do. So with the same miner, you can also use it to mine and decreed. I'll show you the batch file for this. Uh, basically very similar, just a secondary sort of pool. You set your pool details, work details, and then you're good to go. Uh, Sirecoin, same as well. Uh, with the actual Sirecoin, the actual formatting is a little bit different. So just check with your actual pool on the actual correct formatting. And then you've got that last part, which is the Dcoin. So in this case, it's Sirecoin, just to confirm that as well. So this uh, miner is basically capable of mining multiple coins at the same time. Uh, so that's about it. So I just wanted to quickly show you this video just to show, show you how it works, how to set it up. Um, if you need more details or anything that you want to go into uh, a little bit more detail or slow down a little bit or focus on certain things, uh, just let me know in the comments. Um, but hopefully you can get started mining Ethereum and library using this new miner. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.